So WordPress 6.8 was released today, and the key new feature that's included in there is called speculative loading. Now, I'll link to an article over on Press Wizard so you can take a look at this and learn a bit more about it if it's new to you. But what I want to show you today is how you can disable it if you don't want to use it. For some reason, WordPress, in their infinite wisdom, have decided this will be on by default, and they've given you no easy way inside the WordPress dashboard to disable this function. So what exactly is it and why would you want to and maybe not want to use it? Well, speculative loading basically means it's going to look at the page that the logged out user lands on, look at some of the links on there, and then guess what you're going to click on next, and then it'll automatically load the assets for that page or pages in the background. So when that user clicks on that link that it thinks you're going to click on, the page will already be loaded into your browser and it'll be pretty much immediate, gives a nice user experience. So in essence, it's a good thing. However, one of the reasons you may not want to use this is if you're on shared hosting, for example, and you have a very, very busy site, you may find that it increases the server load, which means that it may cause problems. Therefore, it could be increased bandwidth, increased usage, higher CPU usage, and so on. There could just be a multitude of different reasons why you may not want to use this. So how do we actually turn it off? I'm going to show you a simple way of doing it, and I'll supply all the relevant code down below so you can use that and get this all sorted for yourself. So probably the easiest and the safest way is to use a code snippet plugin. However, if you don't want to go down that route, as long as you've got a child theme installed for the website you're looking at, you can go into there, open up the functions PHP file, and add this code to the end of that file. However, for peace of mind, and if you're not really comfortable doing that kind of thing, a code snippet plugin like Fluent Snippets, which is totally free, is probably the easiest and safest way to do this. So all you need to do is go to the dashboard of your website, go to the plugins, download and install Fluent Snippets, totally free. And then you're going to come into the Fluent Snippets plugin. And this is very, very simple. We're going to create our first snippet. Functions, PHP is exactly what we want. And all we're going to do is paste this little bit of code in. This is adding an additional filter, basically just to disable that WordPress speculative loading. It will disable it. That's all it's going to do. So all you need to do now is click on Run Everywhere, give it a name, hit Create Snippet. That's now created, but it hasn't activated it. So all we need to do is click on Activate, and you're done. That's it. Speculative loading now should be disabled on that particular site. It's as simple as that. And if you want to re-enable it, all you need to do is come back into your snippet, deactivate this and it will switch it back on and you'll have that speculative loading enabled. So that just goes to show how easy it is to do this and very, very safe using a code snippet plugin. If you want to learn more about 6.8 and what else it brings, check out this video next. It's going to get you up to speed with the key changes, including what we've covered in this video. As always, all applicable links and everything else are in the description down below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuds. And until next time, take care.